Bless the Lord, early birds. We praise God for you on this 19th day of a brand new year, 2022. Welcome to the Genesis of this journey in this new day, in this new year. We greet you in Jesus' joy. And we bless the Lord for you, early birds. Uh, you may not have been able to be on the line this morning, but if you're listening now, we appreciate very much the opportunity to talk with you, kind of sow into you as we experience the Word of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, uh, the unusual wisdom of the grace of God given to us in the Word of God and through the people of God. What an awesome an amazing testimony, set of testimonies and expressions this morning for the power of prayer and for the advances of uh, technology. I am saying the uh, saints on this morning's prayer line were amazing and we're grateful for the word of God that's also amazing. We were in Job uh, through BiblePlan.org, uh, through the Bible in a Year, BiblePlan.org, the chronological uh, order uh, and um, uh, the chronological um, uh, directive of Old and New Testament passages on a daily basis uh, in BiblePlan.org. We're in Job 28 and 29 as Job talks, uh, continually processing the paradoxes in his uh, trauma in in the parody of his plight speaking of hakma of wisdom who can find wisdom we can find and plummet to the depths of the earth and carve out channels and hills and mountains and and kind of um, go into the depths of the the earth uh, via ropes and other means of access, but who can find wisdom? I mean, there are animals that will never be able to plummet or vet the depths of the earth as human beings have learned to do. Uh, touch lapis lazuli and gold and ore and other things, but who can find wisdom? It comes from relationship. It comes from uh, from God. It comes from uh, fear of the Lord. And how do you ascertain that within the paradoxes and plights uh, of the perils we go through? Uh, takes us deeper and broadens the scope of our experiences by virtue of just trying to figure why, what's going on in this anomalous situation. And so it's kind of amazing in this way uh, that in this poetical prose of Job, we are led to a place of recognizing that sometimes the paradoxes we go through is to deepen us, <clears throat> to provide some experiential opportunity to vet uh, the wisdom that God is perhaps uh, dis displaying to us, the wisdom of recognizing that uh, sometimes bad things do happen to good people, and sometimes it does seem as though the wicked are getting away with what they're doing. Uh, and sometimes these there aren't formulas that uh, ensure that there are promises that will uh, take place, that sometimes weeping may endure for a night, but sometimes weeping also endures through the day. And so paradoxes like that. Uh, create for us opportunities to discern the wisdom of of those polemics. Job is uh, also reflecting in the trauma of his um, life's crisis, how things used to be. I mean, don't we do that when we face a crisis? Man, it wasn't always like this. And perhaps it's our way of negotiating and navigating the labyrinth of grief and loss and trauma. Uh, yet there's something hopeful in all of the, what Job is doing. And hopefully there's something hopeful in what you are gleaning from chapter 28 and 29 as we walk with Job and kind of join Job as perhaps even Job joins us in what may be the similar kind of paradox and peril we might be experiencing 
but we're also exposed to the kingdom uh, through Matthew 13, the latter part where Jesus is teaching, using the kind of wisdom that Job only describes, the hakuma that Job, that Job is talking about. It is embodied in Jesus, and he teaches in parables, uh, and he uses the skillful um, uh, poetry and descriptive of narrative and metaphor uh, and uh, parables as a way of giving people a practical application of the kingdom's principles of how God sows seeds of opportunity and, and potential and productivity but that the enemy is just as busy trying to destroy and choke off and distract and yet God is aware of that uh, the wisdom within this the skillful uh, understanding that the farmer exhibits in Jesus' parable at the end of Matthew 5, 13 saying there'll be a come there'll come a time when the wheat and the weeds will grow up together and that their harvest will come through and uh, the harvest will discern and separate and sift through both and the wheat will be recognized for what it is and the weeds will be recognized for what they are so it's like in time god brings a sense of distinction and specific perspective we it's almost like what our foreparents would say you will understand it better by and by uh, i may not make much sense today but then uh, the metaphor is about how there comes a time when things are made clear uh, and God has angelic or, uh, or divine input into this. So the angels come through and he explains the metaphor. And so this um, is an opportunity for us to kind of connect in this uh, sense of how we're dealing with what we're dealing with on a daily basis that over time and in the course of hearing the voice of Jesus and continuing to study the word, uh, we get a sense of how God is helping us to decipher, uh, uh, to discern, to figure out what's what and to be able to walk through that in faith and in favor. And what a blessing it is to be able to do that by the grace of God. Uh, to minister in that respect uh, to others and to ourselves, uh, but also be aware of the fact that like Jesus, you may or may not be taken seriously because of who you are, um, but to the detriment of those who Jesus was sent to minister to because um, their lack of recognition of who he was was based on their, rec- uh, their sense of what he used to be kind of like with Job looking back and they're looking back at Jesus' history but they're not aware of Jesus' emerging mystery uh, of who he has become uh, and so they miss the blessing. Don't let that be said that uh, much couldn't be done with, through, or in you because you didn't, you didn't have the faith to recognize Jesus in the midst of the circumstances you were facing. Uh, and so um, today, early birds, I pray that uh, the Lord would uh, speak to you in the uniqueness of the challenge and the journey that you're undertaking, the journey that you're on, the promise of where you're headed and the reality that God is with you, even when you can't sense it sometimes and that things don't always work out according to expectations. But God is still in the midst of us. God is still our refuge and our hiding place. And God is still in this dialogue with us. Job ultimately knows as Jesus knew and knows. And that we know through our encounter with the word that we are never alone. I love you. God bless you. I pray that you have an awesome day. Lord, in the name of Jesus, bless every early bird listening to this word today. Give us the assurance that as you vet us through the depths of dilemmas, And as you take us through the prospects of the perils we're going through, that you would give us a sense that in due season, we will come out, we'll come through, uh, that we'll be wiser, better, and stronger, enabled and empowered not only to 
experience your blessings.